ABC 15 investigators also digging into Elton Simpson's criminal past, discovering he's been on the FBI's radar since 2006. In 2009, they launched a criminal investigation into his travel plans abroad, saying he lied about going to school in South Africa, instead trying to head to Somalia. ABC 15 investigator Lauren Gilger has been digging deeper into this case today. And Lauren, he was charged, but how exactly did he avoid prison? Well, the federal government tried to put Elton Simpson away for eight years in 2010, but in the end, he only received three years of probation. Federal agents charged him with lying to law enforcement about his plans to travel to Somalia, where prosecutors alleged he was planning to engage in terrorist activities. FBI agents had been tracking him for four years and recorded several conversations of, of Simpson talking with an informant named Dabla Dang. They recorded him telling Dang, quote, we're going to make it to the battlefield. It's time to roll, but the judge said prosecutors had failed to prove symptoms plans had to do with terrorism. Phoenix attorney Christina Sitton defended Simpson in that case. She described Simpson today as harmless and said she never thought he was an extremist or seemed outraged about his case. I thought he was a very kind, respectful young man. He just felt like he was being targeted just because of his religious beliefs and I, I kind of believed the same. Sitton says his mosque raised the money to help bail him out of jail before his trial. In one recording Simpson speak of, Sp of Simpson speaking to the FBI informant, he talked about his desire to join a jihad and says if you get shot, it's heaven straight away. The second suspect, Nadir Sufi, has no criminal background. I'm investigator Lauren Gilger, ABC 15 News.